Oh, Michael Hussey. Everybody stands still on the ground. Brilliant play. That's exceptional stuff from Hussey. It's almost a down on one knee sweep of a 85 mile an hour delivery. Well, it is really just helped it round. New fine leg was up. Great shot. He gives nothing away. You can't see it in his eyes or where he looks round the ground as to where he's wanting to score. The thinking of changing here. There's a lot going on on the field. Mead wicket drops out to the boundary. Fine leg is still inside the circle. And now he's moving back now. Fine leg moves back now. They're changing it all the time. The fielder that's gone to deep mid wicket is now coming back inside the circle. Fine leg is back. Three saving one offside. He's working harder, Freedy. Into the leg side. Oh, it's four. Finds the gap. Goal under pressure. Well, makes it look so easy, doesn't he, Mike Hussey? He's just stayed where he is and just helped this on the leg side. To be fair, it's a leg stump half volley, but he's just easy. He's not looked to, to thrash it, to hit it hard. Just clipped it away in the air. Doesn't matter. And there's been a committee meeting between bowler and captain. The Freedy in. Nothing happens to the field. Hussey had 12 deliveries. Scored off every delivery. Not had one dot ball. Fine leg goes squarer. Brilliant. Umar Gull. Great response. Yeah, top quality comeback from the bowler. He's gone round the wicket, so he's changed his angle of attack. And unerringly accurate. <laughs> Freedy's there again, isn't he? But changing the angle, that was arrowed in at the bottom of leg stump. Well kept out by Hussey. 27 required from 15. Australia captain there, Pakistan captain there. Oh, LB, oh, he's gone! Oh, he's given him out, LBW! Balling around the wicket, a ball that's very, very full. Prize wicket, Michael Hussey. Well, I want to see this again. I want to see where Hussey is when the ball hits him. I want to see the angle of the ball. Hussey, to his credit, has just gone straight off. Let's have a look at this. Well point of contact is just about an off stump and the angle says that the ball's going on to hit leg stump middle and leg even good decision there and Hussey has gone playing that reverse sweep he's gone for 25 have Australia's hopes gone with him they're 136 for eight well that's a terrific decision from Zamir Eder he's around the wicket balling very quickly full of length Umar Gull been hit for two fours, responding with that great Yorker. He's at it again. Now then, Michael Hussey, 25 from 14, Australia, eight down. See what he's trying to do. We've mentioned fine leg inside the circle, and then he moves up, he goes back. Pakistan just at sixes and sevens at that stage, but he's good, real good. Umar Gull. Eight down, Australia, 27 from 14. Pakistan at this stage were 138 for six. Australia 136 for eight. Inside edge, down to fine leg. There is a fine leg. Oh, brilliant fielding. Ajmal. Great stuff from side Ajmal down there at the fine leg. Gotta have your fine leg back when. 10 and 11 are at the crease, full length dive, he's not the most athletic but he's done a great job there, brilliant stop. Well he's bowled four overs, one for 26. Wonderful fielding. Saved a couple. They got two, Nani's got two. Looks like Nani's is a swinger. Short ball. Oh, wide ball! Oh, another twist, another turn. Well, you said, uh, David, that Umar Gull was good. He is good, and I think he'd be too good for Dirk Nannis. He doesn't need to bowl 
this that's way way over the boat over the batsman's head Nan is not an accomplished batsman and even that's not going to unsettle a number 10 or 11 it's too high but they've got an extra ball that wide means an extra ball this is it 11 from the over so far no run oh, should have got a one Australia 139 for eight to a ball required 24 from 12 let's go said David Hussey in the dugout Mitchell Johnson not faced a ball yet Nanez chose to keep him on strike though knowing that Johnson is the hitter who's going to ball it's going to be Mohamed Amir three overs two for 22 so far change of ends for him will operate from the city end Not yet, son. We're not ready. <laughs> Two batsmen are in the middle having a meeting. Who's on strike? Johnson. Johnson on strike. Hasn't faced a ball as yet. Make no mistake, he can smack a cricket ball, this boy. Where's he looking? Offside there. Shakes through the offside. One, two, three, four. Five on the offside. One saving on the boundary square of the wicket. Oh, beauty, going down the leg side for me. Oh, no, he's given it. Oh, he took a long time, that's that Ralph. Fall and straight, another LBW, Johnson's gone. Well, he's not for going, Mitchell Johnson. He's hung around for a long time. This swung late from Mohamed Amir. He really is a stunning talent, this lad. Full and how straight? Oh, not quite straight enough for me swinging down the leg side perfect length late late swing an appeal from the bowler you can't blame bowler and keeper for appealing it's been upheld Johnson has gone and Australia are gone I think 139 for 9 24 required from 11 unlikely you would say but you never know 24 from 11 required Nanez is in there, Sean Tate. Well, these two not renowned for wielding the willow. Average of two. One sixty-two for nine, Pakistan. They're just going away from Australia now. At this stage, Pakistan were one forty-six for eight. we got another turn here's the young gun spotted three years ago by Wazim Akram oh. playing a miss again full 90 miles an hour it's too quick for Tate it'll be too quick for Nanas as well eighty nine miles an hour just clock this guy, 18 years of age. He's not hitting that anywhere. With a wise old head on his shoulders as well, David. Look where he's releasing and delivering from. Way behind that pop increasing and a bowl of no ball. But the pace is right up there. He's got a lovely action. Here he comes again. Swung away into the leg side. Just for a single. Australia just getting outplayed at the end again. 23 from 18 required. Yesterday's match was won by 23 runs by Pakistan. Michael Clark said at the toss he wanted better batting from his side. They haven't had an innings, have they? Nobody has gone in and played in innings for Australia. Ball down the ground. Field is converged. Gone for four. 19 from seven. Still a glimmer. Nanez with a straight drive. And as good a straight drive as you could wish to see. 
hit flat and hard. One bounce for. Well, they can't find the ball. Top scoring. It's been a super game as this, the top score. David Hussey, 33. And Cameron Akmal, 33. Where's the ball? There's a lot going on at uh, Edgebaston these days. Who's got the ball? You'd think they'd have a whole stack of balls, there wouldn't we are. you? 2020, David. They'd have a box of them at the side. They're going to get hit in the crowd, under the covers, whatever. Just roll one on, get on with it. Off we go, 19 from seven. Last delivery for Amir. Swing and a miss again. Excellent bowling from the young gun. Big smile on his face. 144 for nine. Australia need 19 from the last over. Umar Gull will bowl it. Amir has finished four overs, three for 27. Great performance from Mohamed Amir. Four overs, no maidens, three for 27. He's a class act and he's only 18 years of age. Any six is Australia. Umar Gull is the bowler, tends to bowl full. Doesn't give a batsman any sort of room at all. Sean Tate, number 11, on strike. Exactly where he wanted it to be. He's played it pretty well, but just gets a single. Not a bad effort, this from a number 11. He's got an in swinging 87 mile an hour Yorker, and he's managed to get full bat on it, get it to extra cover for a single. That's all right, nothing wrong with that from a number 11. Australia, though, need five boundaries here. Ball in again, he's giving you nothing. Done it so many times, Umar Gull. Nothing fancy, just ball, full ball straight. No, came back to bowl his final two overs and went for two fours. In the first two balls that he bowled since then, he's just settled down, bit of rhythm. Not panicked, he looks as cool as ever. Smack down the ground, fielder there, it's got for six, all the way. Oh, is there a twist in this? The only shot that needed to be played, he's played it. Nanes. First six of the innings from number 10, Dirk Nanes almost shut his eyes and swung at that. He sure did. Three deliveries, 12 to win Australia. Not used to that, Umar Gull. Excellent. Get it in there. And gone, I would think. End of the game. Quick thinking, Umar Gull. Pakistan turn Australia over again. Really good game of 2020 cricket. Pakistan 162 for nine. Australia bowled out for 151. Oh, and how Pakistan wanted and needed this. This neutral venue series has got off with a bang for them. Two victories in 2020 cricket against Australia. They've really done superbly well. Brilliantly supported here at Edgebaston. And they've produced two brilliantly conceived wins. They've had a great day, the team. So I have the spectators, start the tuk-tuk, wherever you are. Wonderful performance, and they look together again, they're up and down Pakistan. Well, they've got a captain who is in the ringer all the time, Shahid Afridi. It's been a, a terrific day for these spectators.
must be 10 or 12,000. Akhtar's ball well today. Figures won't tell you that, but he's ball well. We're not seeing Razaik. Umar Gull again does what he does at the end. Yeah, you're not kidding. Boom, boom, Afridi. Oh, look at Wakar. Still got a job. <laughs> well, it's a great achievement, this, for Shahid Afridi. He's captaining the side. The most improbable captain you could probably ever wish to see at international level. Whereas he's hard on his sleeve, he's passionate about everything he does. And he's led by example in a really good performance. Hugs all round, this is really good for Pakistan. <laughs> Great scenes. Legs are flying, the wigs are on. Everybody's smiling. You've just been gold. <laughs> Some terrific signs. Go on, lad. Go on, lad. Not too much of those if you don't.